Hey, Bart Miller with Cycling Strong. So today we're gonna to talk about one of the most serious things that we need to take into consideration when we are cycling, and that is recovery, okay? So this is gonna be a little longer video, so stick with me. There'll be lots of good information for you to digest and to think about. So first thing is, <clears throat> everybody asks me what I use for recovery. I use a product called Recoverite sometimes, but my favorite is Reed's Dairy out of Idaho chocolate milk. So a little plug for Reed's Dairy. Uh, this is made with potatoes. You can go look at it, lots of fun. So I just barely got off a ride. And so I'm gonna have a little recovery drink. You should do the same if you're getting off a ride. Nothing like that. So, things you want to think about for recovery, okay? <clears throat> if you can't recover, then it makes your rides harder for you. Recovery, recovery, recovery. So that's everything from sleep to getting your legs the right way, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to talk about a couple of things that I use to do my recovery with. Now, when you're dealing with compression, we're going to talk a little bit about that in just a second. I'm going to do a real quick overview on another video that I've done. But this company that I uh, is called Vital Socks. Uh, you can kind of see their name right here if you haven't seen it before. Google them, go look at them. No, they don't pay me. Everybody always does this whole thing of this is a commercial, this, that, and the other. <clears throat> the reason you guys watch my videos, I always anticipate, is I do the homework, try to bring you the best things, okay? So when I'm telling you about something, isn't that I'm trying to do a commercial, it's I'm trying to save you the time of having to go do the research to find the right products. Anyway, Vital Socks right here. So let's talk, first of all, if you've never put on a compression sock, then how to put one on. That's really, really important so that you know how to do it because everything we do, you're gonna do this with. So first thing is, pull the sock inside out, grab the back of it, and then you kind of want to make sure that everything's fit on a compression sock like that. Then you stick your foot right inside of there. And that way if your feet are sweaty, whatever it is, you do not rip the sock. Believe it or not, you're going to rip compression socks if you try pulling them on and get aggressive with these socks. If you want them to last, you want them to be good, that's what you got to have to do. Now, this is not about how to put a compression sock on, but I want you to know how to do it because if you don't, then you're gonna have problems. Now, the important part I put this on for is, if you look right here, you're gonna see a different type of design. <clears throat> you're gonna see different material in this compression sock. I don't know if you're able to see that. Excuse me, my goodness, sorry about that. But I don't know if you're seeing the differences in the socks, but you will wanna take note of that. These guys have a patent way that they do compression, and it's super important. This sock right here, is a sock that I would wear underneath my jeans during the day to work on compression, okay? Now, I've also wore this sock before on the bike, okay? And literally rode in this sock, okay? So that's one thing. So think about that when you're thinking about compression during the day at the office, hanging out, this is a good sock for that. Or if your legs are super fatigued and you're just looking for something out on the bike. Okay, now, this right here is a different kind of sock for your arm, like an arm warmer, right? And so what you do on it is you use it for that kind of stuff, compression on that. I don't use a lot of upper body compression, so <clears throat> not my thing. This right here is a sock that you are supposed to ride in. This one here, like I said, not necessarily it. Same thing, you put it on, ride all day. Thing I like about this sock is, and this is something that uh, if you look at Chris Froome, all those guys, they're using a higher compression, not higher compression, but a higher length of their compression socks when they're riding on the bike, and it's for blood flow. So think about that. That's why they're making rules on how high socks can be so that you don't get an advantage with compression. I don't know if you knew that or not, but go do some research on that. So this sock comes up really high, fits really well. It's got the exact same type of stuff cut into it for compression. Phenomenal sock in that design. Okay, really like that. Now, <clears throat> my favorite thing and the reason that I, I went to this company was for these right here. I always tell everybody to go get uh, compression to sleep in. So this right here is a compression sock 
but it goes clear up the entire leg. And it's super high, hard to find something like this unless you get it from a doctor. A lot of diabetics, a lot of people that know tons about compression, you can comment on this, but they have, they have to sleep in socks like this. So when I'm trying to recover, there's two things I do. There's this sock right here. Once again, I can't put it all the way on because I've got stuff on, but to give you an example, I do the same type of a thing with this, kind of just get it to where I want half of it here, and then I get it down, and I start to get my foot in to where I want it, and then I start to pull this clear up the leg. Make sure it fits really well, make sure you get the size you need for you, and then it just knits, you can see, all the way up the leg, okay? Now, <clears throat> This goes clear up just like this. This you sleep in all night for compression. Now the cool part is, is I grabbed, kept the wrapper, and you can see right here, overnight leg care, right? But the cool part is this is a patented, that they have product, and if you look at the level of the sock and the way it's built, there's a whole bunch of reasoning behind their technology. Really works well for me, especially when I'm lazy. Now the only downfall, if I'm gonna tell you there is a downfall with this is, it does get a little hot. Just, just I mean, it's warm. It, in the winter here in Idaho, it's awesome. Sleep in it, perfect. In the summer, it can get a little warm. Now, <clears throat> I bring this up because if you can, and this is, this is 46 bucks, right? But you can see right behind me, when I'm really getting serious every night, then I use the Normatex. And I've talked about Normatex on my videos a ton. You know, that's a whole nother type of product that goes through air and compression, right? So here's two different ways to get your legs recovered when you're doing something like that. So when you're thinking about your legs, it's all you're thinking about your legs, right? When you're riding and getting them recovered so that those muscles can react faster again. So get off the bike, you got the chocolate milk. You get home, you need to decompress a little bit anyways, so get the Normatex on, get a 30 minute Normatex. Then if your legs still feel a little fatigued and tired, go sleep in this vital sock right here, find it, get these on, go to bed in them, go to sleep in the morning, your legs will feel totally different. Now, if you know you're gonna be on your feet though a lot during the day and you're gonna be going because obviously we work and we have a life, then you're gonna buy this. When this comes off, this goes on, then this is what you're gonna wear during the entire day. Then when you get back on the bike, you're gonna to go to this one right here, and your legs are gonna to feel totally different. I know that's a lot of information. I know that it's you know a lot to think about from chocolate milk, back to Normatex, this, that, the other. But reality is, depending on how hard you're riding and what you're trying to do, and you're trying to recover, it's really important to think about those type of things. Now, there's substitutes in all sorts of things like, you know, go getting a massage all the time. But remember that if you're going on a long ride and a hard ride, if your legs aren't used to being uh, compression and massage and stuff like that, don't change that right before a big event. So if like it was two weeks out before Leadville I, and I wasn't used to this stuff, I would not change a thing. Keep on what you're doing. But if you've got time to get your legs really well to where they, they can take, not take it, but and learn to be really, you know, get the lactic acid out of them, get them recovered, most definitely the way to go. I can tell you there's tons of pro teams using Normatec, tons of pro teams right now that are using compression. So I know you're going to have questions. I know this is a little longer video. Sorry about that. But I really wanted you to have some options. And the best option, bar nothing I found for your leg to sleep in, is this Vital Sock right here. It, it, it totally is. Uh, you can go get the other. If you've ever bought it from the diabetes and the doctors, you have to get a prescription. They'll give you one because it's, I mean, it's nothing harmful, but they are freaking tight and there's all sorts of things to them. They haven't thought through for sports, in my opinion, and they are, man, they'll burn your legs off tight. They're so hot. But you want to talk about putting those on, you will fully have to pull them inside out, get them on, and they're super thick tights. So hopefully that helps you. Please comment below. If you're not following us on the blog, go to the blog. And this should be a video that you're passing to all your friends. It really is. I know that you know you watch different things on like gearing and all that kind of stuff, but reality is this is what makes the difference in day-to-day -day performance. And we'll talk about here coming up in one of the other videos, if it's not on here yet, pillows, you know, different things like that at night, how long you should sleep, 
you know, uh, how important sleep is in cycling. So keep that in mind. We'll talk to you soon. Keep cycling strong. See you later.